Hey, what's up guys? So, it's been about two years since I bought my S95B TVs. The very first TV that I thought was the most innovative technology in quite a long time in terms of color. But when, what ended up happening yesterday was either there's some kind of glitch from one of the video games on my screen or that is the start of a dead pixel. But it was very long. It was probably about that long in length. It was like a line. It wasn't like a dot when you see a dot. So I don't know what that was about. Uh, as of right now, I'm probably going to call Best Buy, talk to them, see what they could do. And also, I was playing Rank Play on Black Ops 6, Rank Play. And to be honest with you, I had fun last night. I gamed for quite a few hours. I was trying to level up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there were some matches where I was just questioning, like, the shooting aspect of, you know, shooting someone 20, 30 times, and then they shoot you twice, and you're dead. I, that, still, to this day, I just, I, I think that's something that they keep in the game, so you always just never quit the game. Like, that's something they will never fix. That's just there to make you feel like you have to win a match. So you stay on the game. It has nothing to do with, well, you know, they made the game wrong. No, they intentionally do that so you stay in the game. And, of course, I stayed in the game. I got used to it. Had fun. Ranked is fun. But the, the thing with ranked is I think there's only, like, certain maps you could play on. Like, they don't throw you on any map in ranked play. So after a while, you're like, damn, I miss all the cool maps that I really like to just run around on. You know, it's 4v4, limited amount of, I think, weapons and perks and all that stuff. So, it's something that I would say is similar to, like, the CDL playing. So, rank play. Uh, so far, yesterday, for the first time, the first match, I was like, oh, this is this is easy. And then the next two matches was just like, oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. The skill-based matchmaking grinder is about to start, you know, tearing us up. And uh, so, yeah, that's that was fun. Um, was playing on the Pro. I adjusted my settings on the headset. I adjusted my settings on the headset, and the headset's starting to sound really nice. Now, of course, I changed the audio settings, too, as well. But the headset, in my opinion, is decent. I think it's a really nice alternative to the other headset. Uh, I still think, like, if I put on my Mobius, I still think that is a 100% output of a sound. But what makes the Maxwell so much unique is that there's this crisp, tight sound that just comes out that sounds so refined that I probably will notice it when I'm on the Mobius because the Mobius was in, like, 2018 or something like that. So that was, like, six years ago. And then these Maxwells came out like a year and a half, two years ago, I think, or something like that. So pretty soon, Odyssey may come out with the next one. I want to see what Bose is going to do with their headset because they came out with a really good headset. I had it, and then this update came in the headset, and it just sounded didn't sound as good. So I was just like, oh, my goodness. Oh, don't even tell me they closed it off. Can I take a turn? Oh, that's a bad accident right here. Jesus. Yeah, this is bad, guys. Can I? Yeah, I could go that way, but I gotta be really. Yeah, this is what happens. People are speeding and they end up just uh, hitting hard, you know? It's a white Toyota Corolla. I, I don't know. I don't know. But at the end of the day, oh yeah, the, the front is done. Yep. Oh wow. Terrible. Well, you know, just to let you guys know, I. Hopefully people are okay. No, there's nothing bad that really happened, you know. Oh wow, the car's on that side too. Okay. So yeah, absolutely terrible, guys. Oh wow, there was quite a few cars. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, guys, I'm on my way to work, and already we got people crashing into each other over here, you know. And then that's what happens. They they driving too fast. Someone's not stopping at the red light. All that kind of stuff happens all the time, so. Um, as of right now, let's go back to the rank play. The rank play, I think, is so far 
decent, but I, I, I just feel like if the grind is real, it might take a while just to get to a high level, and I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm just getting ready to be pummeled, that's, that's what I feel like, I eventually feel like I'm getting ready to get pummeled, that's the problem, is I feel like I'm getting ready to get pummeled, so, um, At the end of the day, the new headset that I've been testing, oh, I think the new Metro VR2 game came out, and that's going to make me want to go out and get a PSVR2, so I might have to go trade some items in just to get that PSVR2 for that game, that and the Aliens game, I think those are going to be two awesome games to get into VR, hopefully they didn't screw it up, but that's going to be scary. The Metro in VR, I think, is going to be really scary. And I hope Sony changes their plan around where they actually... Uh, they, they actually give us the opportunity to have VR games on the regular. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I'm wanting. I want VR games on the regular. Because I just don't want that kind of thing where, where you know, we get these games, like one or two games, and then that's it, and then it goes back to normal again, you know? I, I want the same feeling of lineup of games coming out every single year for PSVR 2, because we got the Pro, this is going to be the first year going around for the Pro. You know, we're already upgrading to the, the most powerful PS5 out there, so hopefully the PS6, hopefully the PS6 is still compatible with the PSVR 2, because at that point, it's like, everything is just a cash grab, it's, it's not, is it really worth it, that's why I wouldn't buy it for $600, I'd rather buy it for $400, 400 or three, 300 I think it's 350 for the uh, Call of the Mountain Horizon. And then it might be 300 for the regular. That's even cheaper, so uh, I want to get that at that price. It's worth it. If my wife, if she decides that, you know, we've been paying a lot of bills, so I got to make sure I have enough. But I, I really want to get it for the Metro game. Like, I really want to get into the Metro. She likes watching VR. I think we would really enjoy it. It's scary. She loves scary games. And... It's just something different. Yeah, I want to get into the Metro. That's something I want to get into. Um, I'm almost at work. Might not live stream today. I probably have a lot of work Sunday. And I got to just push a lot of hours. I'm sorry. I said it.
almost almost there anyway, so not too far away. Um, said was uh, a decent amount of what needed to be said, you know, and uh, see this BMW now is pissing me off because he's not even trying to pass anybody, you know, he could go a little faster, but he's choosing not to, so I'm trying to get in the right lane eventually. So yeah, I think that's going to be a game that we're going to experience is the Metro with the VR2 headset, I think that's going to be a really good game. Um, I think when Stalker 2 comes out on the PS5 Pro, that's when I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get it right now in the Series X. I'm just not hearing it's at its best performance. So, um, not, not, I'm not surprised. Like, every single game that came out on the Series X, I, I really thought the Series X was going to be more powerful than the PS5. And some people say it is. It's just the developers. It's the developers. I mean, come on. How long is it going to take for a developer to actually make a game complete and then release it? You know what I mean? Like, what is the issue? I still think the Series X is a powerful console. I just, I, I don't think that it was taken as seriously as of a beast of, as it was. You know, 30 FPS is not cutting it. We paid for these consoles to be 60 FPS, 120 FPS, not 30. So for for them to just pump out 30 FPS games constantly without even um, trying to make a 60 FPS game. Yeah, there's 60 FPS games, but sometimes it doesn't even feel like 60 FPS. That's that's another problem. So. I'm almost at work, and oh wow, this light never turns red. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's probably going to be my motivation is the Metro. The Metro VR2 game. It's a full game, but it's a Metro. I think that's going to be interesting. Like, scary? Yeah. Matter of fact, I had to call my wife about it, let her know that she likes to see, like, these kind of jump scares. So, uh, that's probably the game I'm going to jump into. I got to make sure there is a physical copy. I don't want to buy the digital because if it's only on digital, I'm going to be pissed. We'll find out. And then there's the Aliens Rogue game that's coming out. That's going to be sick. That's going to be sick. So I just wish that they made the headset a little more ergonomic so when you put it over your head, you don't feel like you're still seeing a little blur or sweat. But remember, I haven't even tried it on the new PlayStation 5 Pro yet. So I'm pretty sure the headset's gonna, a lot of people are saying that it looks a lot more, the image is sharper, the image is sharper, it looks better, the, the, the blur is gone, I hope so, I hope so, and uh, I will, I think with the 4 terabytes in my PS5 Pro, it's enough for now, I wanted to get the 8, but I'm not spending $600 on a card, that, that's crazy guys. They gotta bring that down to at least like 450, and then maybe I'll consider buying it. Or yeah, 450 for an eight terabyte card. Because you could get four terabytes for three something. You should be able to get eight terabytes for I would say like 550. Because they're asking for 650. That that's a lot. I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? That would be foolish to just spend that much money on eight terabytes. I got four terabytes plus two. 
that that should be more than enough. Any games I don't want to play, I can just uninstall. I'm basically I was playing Modern Warfare 2019. That's a lot of fun. But I feel like it's that was it Modern Warfare 2019. That was a fully polished game, I believe, right? Yeah, I think I think it might have been a full polished game. So that was fun in its time. at work guys you know what time it is <laughs> it was one of those videos where I'm just like kind of thinking about everything and uh, yeah I gotta call Best Buy today to find out whether they're gonna cover my TV or it's not bad it's there. I could live with it if they say no, but I would like to, if I could, get a brand new TV. That would be a nice, um, and I would tell them they could take that one. Of course, they would take that one. That's, yeah. I feel good today, guys. I'll see you guys. It's Dragon Style. We'll talk again. You already know what time it is.